So, I had a bit of a panic start. I uh, dropped my wallet. Thankfully, the Vietnamese people came through very strong for me and as I walked back to my apartment, the lady handed it to me. So I was very appreciative of that. Handed her some money for saying thank you and uh, she was pretty over the moon. We are now en route to our boat trip. We'll talk about it more in a minute. So we are doing the Champ Island boat tour, which includes two dive and snorkeling sites, a barbecue lunch, and a tour of the island. So we're quite looking forward to this. We've had a couple of days doing nothing, and we've all got a little bit itchy feet. So we're pretty excited about this day trip. Read pirate names now. Arrived at our first area. Switch the GoPro. Site. It's pretty good actually, some really good corals, it's been pretty, it's been pretty fresh, it's got loads in it. It's not a bad dive site, or a snorkeling site I should say. So those that have known the Howard Whites for a long time know this is the normal side of the Howard Whites. <laughs> That was pretty good. First snorkeling dive done. It was not too bad. Uh, the South China Sea is okay. The coral was quite pretty, but there was not a huge amount of fish. I believe we're now off to Chow Island Beach to kind of chill out uh, and probably have a little bit of lunch. Apparently we've got a barbecue lunch stand. Should be good. This beach looks beautiful. Look at that. So we have arrived on Cham Island after two lots of snorkeling in the same area. Um, I think we're heading for lunch first yeah. and then uh, we're on here for about two or three hours to chill out. We should definitely be getting up the drone shortly but then we're going to tuck in some lunch. Lunch is looking good. I don't think we're going to say too many more words. Let's eat. <laughs> Just been feeding monkeys. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but they're rather cute. Quite like them, they're kind of cool. The food we had was absolutely delicious. I think we've got a couple of hours now chilled on the beach, so we're gonna go get the drone up and check it out. So uh, just playing the drone and got in a little bit of trouble. It went really glitchy and I wasn't sure why. It turns out there's like a security station here for uh, national security apparently. So um, yeah, just been told I'm not allowed to film here anymore. Guy from the station let me keep my footage as I wasn't taking any pictures of the security station. It was just off the beach, but I got, I got a bit of a slap on the wrist and he told me uh, basically that I shouldn't be doing it here. 
I'll be totally honest, I didn't know that you could and couldn't hear. Uh, he's fine with everything, he checked all my footage, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how glitchy it is right this moment, um, but I shall post it anyway. So the guy was fine with it, so we're good. Now, I think it's really hot, so I'm gonna jump in the sea. I'm gonna leave my t-shirt on, because I could feel myself burning earlier. So I'm just gonna go enjoy the sea with Joe, James, and Howard. Here he comes. My name's Howard. Howard White. We do my masculine walk. <laughs> so we've just enjoyed three beautiful hours on this beach. We've had some good food. We've had a good swim and a chill in the sun. We're now heading back to Hoi An, I believe which where we are going to go grab ourselves a full body massage because it's been such a tiring day snorkeling and relaxing <laughs> so we're going to do that then we're heading up the old town tonight uh, we were supposed to do that yesterday but we changed our plans joe wants to get herself a dress made and matt is debating on a suit so check out the evening should be a good one good day howard yeah, I think I'm officially burnt to a crisp. And now I'm doing my Mother Teresa act. You're, I must admit, I'm a bit concerned we're going to be out with a flashing beacon tonight. But it's been a great day on Cham Island. I recommend the Cham Island boat tour. Uh, our guide here has been absolutely brilliant today. We're now sailing back to Hoi An, which we're all kind of looking forward to. And then we're going to go get ourselves a massage. So before we go for a massage, myself and Joe have decided to come and sit by the ocean have a beer and just chill out for an hour or so i think the boys wanted a bit of a rest first so we've come and sat down here it's absolutely gorgeous the sun's gone in we're a bit sunned out today but we are very much enjoying vietnam uh, please comment below your thoughts of vietnam if you've got any interest of coming in the near future i can guarantee you will enjoy it vietnamese body massage it is We are back here at Heaven Garden Spa for a massage. Boys, what are you going for? Uh, an anti sunburn massage. <laughs> so I think it's an aloe vera and coconut massage to help their sunburn. Joanne? And I'm going for a traditional Vietnamese massage, which is supposed to hit the acupuncture points. So, Vietnamese massage was epic, by the way. Highly recommend one of those. Uh, if you're in Vietnam, get yourself one. Brilliant acupuncture, all the pressure points, really good. Uh, me and Joe are just chilling in the double cat bar across the way because Matt and James are having the uh, sunburn massage version of it, which is an extra half an hour with loads of cucumber and uh, aloe vera. So, we're just chilling, catching up on social media. Um, we're supposed to be going to the old town tonight, but it's still raining a little bit, so walking around the old town in the rain won't be much fun. So we're just going to work that out over the next half hour. What is in store for this evening? So plans have changed slightly this evening. We're not going to head to the old town tonight. Everyone's a little bit beat from uh, a long hot day in the sun. Good massage has kind of made us all tired. So we're just going to head to a restaurant for something to eat and then we've been recommended some live music tonight by our, our new york friend jay uh it's at the soul kitchen so we're gonna go check that out this evening instead so we've had dinner this evening we've been recommended this kind of dj beatboxer live musician i must admit it's absolutely sick I'm gonna leave it there myself and joe have got a date planned tomorrow matt has got a date and we're going to interview him tomorrow night about his date. Me and Joe are going to do a touristy date tomorrow on our own. Check out tomorrow.